Hello. In this video, we are going to derive the energies of the pi orbitals of benzene using the Huckel method. Benzene, you'll recall, has the chemical formula C6H6, and its carbon atoms form a six-member ring. And we can number the carbon atoms. And in this particular molecule, we note that carbon 1 is connected to 2, 2 is connected to 3, and so on, forming this six-member ring, uh, a structure which was first elucidated by August Kekulé. The secular determinant that we have to solve for this particular system is a 6 by 6 determinant. And then recall, we set this secular determinant equal to zero. And then we solve for the energy E. As we have done in previous cases, we are going to make the assignment of the variable x to be equal to alpha minus the energy divided by beta. So first we divide through the entire determinant by beta, and then we make this particular assignment, and then we can transform our secular determinant to a slightly easier equation in terms of x's and 1's. And then this becomes the equation, the secular determinant equation, that we have to solve to determine the energies of the pi conjugated system using the Huckel method. Now we can expand this 6 by 6 determinant uh, by minors using x10001 as our coefficients. And at least in the first step, we'll be able to uh, decompose our 6 by 6 determinant down into a series of 5 by 5 determinants. So our first coefficient is x. And then we have the 5 by 5 determinant that's formed by getting rid of the first column and the first row, which gives the following result. Our second coefficient is now a 1, and since we alternate signs from positive to negative as we go down the column, this has a coefficient of minus 1. And now the relevant determinant that multiplies it is formed by omitting the second row and the first column, which gives
since the next three coefficients are all zero, and then zero times anything gives a zero, we can simply omit those terms, and our last term is now going to be a minus one. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So our coefficient is a minus one, and it multiplies a five by five determinant that we get by omitting the first row and the last column. Next, we need to decompose these 5 by 5 determinants. So we put the x coefficient in front. And now we decompose this particular 5 by 5 determinant using the first column as the coefficients. Here we have shown <clears throat> the decomposition in blue for the first 5 by 5 determinant. And now we continue for the second 5 by 5 determinant. where in pink we have the decomposition of the second 5 by 5 determinant. And in orange, we have the decomposition related to the third 5 by 5 determinant. So now we're going to simplify and combine terms where possible. Again, we've color-coded the corresponding terms
we're also making use of the fact that this particular 4x4 determinant, x100 and so on, actually appears twice in our expansion. So since we have it minus 1, minus 1, we can combine those two terms to form a minus 2 multiplying by that determinant. And again, this entire sequence of determinants is equal to 0. We continue expanding our 4x4 determinants and breaking them down as a series of 3x3 three three determinants. So now we've broken it down into a series of 3x3 three three determinants and coefficients. So in this step, we're going to combine the coefficients uh, and simplify a bit here. So we have In the next step, we simply note that we have the same determinant again. So we have minus 1 times this 3 by 3 determinant, minus 1 times the exact same determinant. So we can actually combine those into a single expression.
and this is all equal to zero.